All right, we're gonna get started here. I basically did a square and this is where my bumper banks are gonna be. Now I explain more in the video what I, I am using on my hair, so stay tuned for that. Now what I'm doing here is I'm basically just parting it in sections and I'm going to be applying foam rollers. I wanna be as versatile as possible, that way you guys can see that this doesn't have to be done with a curling iron and you can actually do pin curls or use rollers. So I'm using rollers here so you can see how they turn out and actually they turned out better than I actually expected. So this is basically what I'm doing with the entire square that I have here on my hair obviously. <laughs> I'm actually styling this with my hair with my hair up so I'm not curling or anything like that so I'm just curling this part but of course if you want to put it down then you would obviously curl it or do whatever you desire with um, the bottom part of your hair but this is really important for me because I'm going to do it two ways I'm actually going to do like um, uh, bumper bangs with the actual hair wrap and I'm going to style them without the hair wrap so there's just two options because I know this is a perfect guide for you gals that uh can't really freehand them. So what I use here is the Loda Body Setting Lotion. I purchased this at Sally's. I really don't remember how much it was, but it, it lasts you a long time. And there's actually the bigger bottles, but I just got this one. And what I do is I dilute it with water. So it's um, half and half, but I actually just do a little less of this and more water. So I just used it in this little squirting bottle and I just spritz this all over my hair. Now this is really good for uh, like wet wet set pin curls so I'm just gonna let these set for about I want to say 30 minutes so after my rollers have set I'm applying Suavecitos grooming spray since I am going to wear this up I am just taming away the frizz and putting it up in a ponytail and I am going to be taking off these rollers now what I'm going to do with this section of my hair is that I'm going to tease it and then I slow this down so you guys can see this I will be applying bobby pins where I'm going to be doing my bumper bangs or faux bangs and this is just basically gonna help us as a guide and I just see this really helpful for me actually and I decided to share this with you guys so I am rolling it up so the little curl we have down here is going to help us roll this upwards the reason you see two layers of my hair is because I used to have bangs so I'm growing them out so it was kind of difficult but this is why I use the bobby pin so it can make it easier for me to mold my bumper bangs. So once I mold them, like I said, you take off the bobby pins. And then I bobby pin it in towards the middle. I'm sticking bobby pins here inside the faux bangs. Once you get your base, which is basically getting the full bangs, I've applied some hairspray and I'm making this into like a U shape and combing it down so you can't see the T's. And I'm just molding them in mostly to your desired shape. So I'm just bobby pinning here a couple of more bobby pins to secure this in place. You can obviously use this with a hair scarf, with a hair flower, but this is basically how you do it without the hair wrap. I just curled my ends here. Kind of something really really quick and simple for the summer days because it's so hot to wear my hair down. Now here I'm using the hair wrap. Now if you don't have a hair wrap you can actually cut a hair donut in half. A little tip if you do cut a hair donut make sure to sew the ends that way it doesn't fall apart. What I'm doing here is separating the hair so it can be easier for when I roll, roll it as a U shape and I just combing it make sure I love mine really really smooth and flawless so I am just anchoring this baby down into my hair and you guys are probably like Miriam how are you gonna hide that well this is why I like spreading the hair so it could be a little easier to spread it all towards the all throughout the hair wrap right after I get them how I want them to be I take my handy dandy suavecita pomade and the hairspray as well which is by far something I've been loving a lot. You guys should definitely check that out. So I'm just smoothing away the flyaways, apply your hair at the scarf, and bang, you're ready, girl. So 
So I really hope you guys enjoy this and I just did a double take, you know, with a hair rat and I just tried to freehand it and actually came out better than expected. What do you guys think? So if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, please leave them down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.